Hi there, thanks for joining us on TCM. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Tonight we are focusing on the career of Lee Tracy as part of this month's Summer Under the Stars Film Festival. And up next from MGM, Tracy shares the screen with some of the biggest stars of his era in a clever, well-written comedy drama from 1933, Dinner at Eight. The movie has been called one of the great screen comedies of manners, featuring one of the finest ensemble casts of any motion picture ever. The cast includes not one but two members of the great Barrymore family, Lionel and his younger brother John, plus Marie Dressler, Wallace Beery, Gene Harlow, Billy Burke, and of course the man whose career we've been honoring all day today, Lee Tracy. The story center is a fancy dinner party thrown by a status-conscious socialite. The guests include an elite group of terribly important people. Lee Tracy is not among the invitees, but rather plays a supporting role, the agent of one of the VIPs, a famous and successful actor nearing the end of his career. And unbeknownst to everyone else, the actor has also come to the end of his money. The smart and at times moving script was based on a successful play written by George S. Kaufman and Edna Ferber. That play was then adapted for the screen by Francis Marion and my grandfather, Herman Mankiewicz. It's a powerful story about what happens among wealthy people when they are faced with the most crushing loss of all, the loss of their money, their power, their status. From 1933 and featuring our summer under the stars, star of the day, Lee Tracy. Here's Dinner at Eight. 